Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at uh, finding a percent given a situation, percent of something given a situation, in this case paint, uh, is well, the problem I'm going to use. But I'm going to show you how to find the, a percent using a couple ways. One would be using a percent number line. So we're going to be looking at doing a percent number line. And the other will be um, thinking about it as ratios. Okay, so we'll, we'll try to do both. Percent number line and using ratios. Those are my two ways I'll find the answers here to this question. So, uh, by the way, this is CPM uh, course two, section 5.1.2, number 5-18. So I have a shade of orange paint is made with five parts red paint and 15 parts yellow paint. What percent of paint is red? Okay, so I need to figure out what percent of paint is red. So on a percent number line, uh, you usually have your zero to 100%. Okay? And what I'm needing to figure out is um, what parts are red, what parts are yellow. So I need to think about total parts. So if I have five parts red, 15 parts yellow, my total parts would be 20. So here's from zero to 20 on my parts, right? So this is parts paint, and this is the percent, right? So this is the top usually have is your unit that you are looking to compare or find percentages of. So to think about how would I wanna break this up? Well, if I have five parts red and 15 parts yellow, I can look at it and say, well, I know that five might be to here, and then the rest of this from here to here, right, is 15. So I can, I can even think through, okay, so I've got five from here to here, 15 from there to there. So I need to now break up my number line so I can understand the percentage that I'm dealing with. So if I go five, I wonder if I can break it into evenly all the way up, right? I think it looks right. If I go five to there, and then I do another five to here, and then another five there. So that being five, 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 and five, all even adds up to be 20, right? So I was able to break this into four even parts based on the fact that uh, on my parts, I can go five, 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 and five. That's going to help me when I think about then my percentage, because if I need to break up my percentage into four, one, two, three, four equal parts, well, 100, 100 divided by four, right? Four equal parts is 25. So this makes this 25, and then another 25 makes it 50, another 25 makes it 70, 75. So I have my percent number line shows me what I have. Now let's go back to the question. It asks, what percent of paint is red? So what percent of paint is red? Well, there's five parts red. So that percent is 25%. So there's my answer for A, using the number line. So uh, we could say uh, parts red equals 25%. There's my answer for A. And that's using the number line. But let's talk about how would I do this in ratios? If I wanted to do this using ratios, I would first think about what, what am I dealing with? I'm dealing with five parts red. What is my ratio? Five parts red to what? 20 total parts. Why did I choose total parts instead of saying five over 15? Because if I would have done five over 15, I would have been comparing five parts red to yellow parts. When you think about percentages, percentages are always something over 100, right? To figure out what your percent is, it's always something over 100. Total percent is 100%. So here I've got this proportion with a missing value here. So if I can figure out what 5 over 20 is as something over 100, that would also get my answer. So I can rewrite. Remember, when we, when we have ratios, you can treat them as fractions. So I want to take and multiply some by some big giant one to end up with something over 100. Well, 20 times 5 
is 100. So my giant one is 5 over 5. So 5 times 5, sure enough, there we go, 25. So I end up as well using ratios 25%. So either way you look at it, percent number line or using ratios, 25% is the answer for parts read. So B, B says, what is the simplified ratio of yellow to red paint? So I have a ratio, um, my ratio is yellow to red. So my yellow to red, yellow to red is my ratio I wanna draw or uh, create. So my ratio yellow to red, right? Well, we know that there are five parts red and 15 parts yellow, so 15 to five. That's my ratio. You can write a ratio using the colon, or we can write the ratio using a fraction, 15 over five. So yellow to red, so that's 15 parts yellow to five parts red, right? If I'm writing my units here. And so it wants the simplified ratio so we can simplify that. That means divide top and bottom by the same number, which it would divide by five. My simplified ratio would be three to one. So three parts yellow to one part red. Or you can write it as a fraction, three over one. Okay. There you go.